Good morning, everyone. Welcome to uh, Wednesday, April 10th. Glad everybody's here in the trading room. Thank you very much. Looks like the market is a little bit unhappy uh, with that CPI number. Um, I have got CUK up here. CUK looking for a short. Here we're breaking down through the 50 period moving average and the 200. We're below the trend indicator and we're setting up for that bearish H pattern. Uh, I just ran across this a little while ago and uh, wanted to get this out there before I we did anything else. So anyway, uh, CUK, uh, possible short, looking pretty good here. All righty, let's go look at the market. So here we have, here we have, we have a top, okay? And then let's do this for now. Let's also do this. Uh-oh. There we go. Um, there, you know, th this is still pre-market. Let's not get overly excited just yet. Um, the market's going to need to open up and give us at least an hour this morning just to see what this, this pre-market candle does here. But what we have in front of us is a possible falling method, what they call a possible fall. They don't call it a possible falling method. They call it a falling method. And that's when you have a candle like that, which is bearish and down. And then you have three candles up. It doesn't matter the color of the body. And then you have another candle down, bearish. And what we're looking for is a breakdown below this first candle. Now this is a bearish uh, candlestick pattern right in here. The thing of it is, is the current candle is not finished and we need to give it time, a little time just to see what it's gonna do because there is that chance it starts bouncing up. That, that could happen here. Like I say, pre-market, be careful how much weight you put into pre-market. Regardless, this is what we have in front of us right now. So I would be hard pressed to think the bulls are gonna get any ground. Uh, like I said, unless something changes here. If we take a look at the diamonds, the diamonds are below the 50 period moving average. The last three, three or four days here, it's danced below the 50. We're under the trend indicator. T-line's below the trend indicator. You can see how the trend is working. There's not many bulls in sight, okay? Not many bulls in sight at all. So um, I think the power right now is with the bearish side. Let's see, Good Sun is, is asking, does it matter the size of today's candle? I assume you're talking on the spy here. Um, no, no, I, we, we've, no, no, it doesn't. Now, keep in mind, this is pre-market. So when the market opens up, the candle won't look like this. It'll actually be down here. Okay, it'll actually be down here. So, um, you know, it won't look like that, that uh, falling method at all. Okay. Uh, Kevin's called a falling method. But just remember, like I say, when the market opens up, it won't look like that. But pre-market, we can see what it's doing from start. And then it starts all over again after the market opens. But it'll start down here. Okay. Which, which you know, how does that make anything better? And it doesn't. So... For, for instance here, let, let me turn turn this off. There we go. This is the way the market's going to open up. And the candle's going to be down here. It won't show that up there. We just see it pre-market because it's there. That's all. And it doesn't make anything different. Here's your big candle down, bearish candle. Here's our hope and prayers moving up. And here we're moving down. We just... We're down at the bottom, you know, a gap down from yesterday's candle. And we start getting through this uh, bullish candle here. Now we're going to see some lower lows in this. All right. Here, let me turn this back on. I like to look at it pre-market. Kind of gives me an idea what the pattern is setting up. Okay. So uh, IWM, IWM, ouch, ouch. 
So what's going to happen here is when the market opens up, you're going to see a gap down in IWM and will be down below that 50 period moving average. I seriously think there should be, I know I personally will in my trading, give the market at least 30 minutes to really decide what it's going to do. Um, right now, this is just a knee jerk reaction. That's all it is. And uh, once, once, uh, once the market settles down, I think then it'll, and I'm not, I'm not suggesting that once the market settles down, we'll move up. I just think once the market settles down, that dramatic knee-jerk reaction will be gone, and then we can go to trading. So, uh, Let's see here. I really don't have a whole lot of charts to look at. Um, here's Wolf, W-O-L-F. This is a chart. I mentioned this last night. I like this for a long, so I've got this on the setup. Oh, my God. <laughs> John, you're making me laugh. <laughs> Too early in the morning to laugh. <laughs> oh my God, the sky's falling. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> Thank you for that. <laughs> um, oh, yesterday. Yesterday, I had put an order in, DKNG, forgot to say anything about it, and it filled, didn't even realize it, and I saw it. I mentioned this last night at the e-learning, uh, but I did buy some D DKNG. Sorry, I just I get totally spaced about it. And uh, so far, working out pretty good, I guess. Um, ARM, I'm waiting for ARM to come back up. Uh, patience, last night I talked a lot about patience, and we have to have patience when we trade. So, you know, on, on a chart like this, what happens is we get where we start looking at making money right here. And this is not where you make your money. Where you make your money is, let's change color. Whoops, let's not do that. Let's, uh, let's do this. Where you make your money is what comes, good grief, Rick. There we go. What makes your money is what comes after this. All right. So, You've got to know that there's more than one person looking to buy this. More than one person. And all this area here is just negotiating an entry. And you're just negotiating with yourself. That's all. So, I mean, you could be a buyer here. You could be a buyer here. You could be a buyer here. It doesn't really matter. As long as you have the conviction, it's going to go up. Now, you have to have that conviction. And how you get that conviction is by the chart pattern. Now, I'm not going to buy it right now. I don't have that conviction at the moment. I like, I'm like. i just pointing out that I like the chart. It's a chart that I'm watching, chart that I'm waiting for for an entry. I would have no problem entering up here. I would have no problem entering even on a breakout of 144.80. This is not where I make my money. Where I make my money is up here. So have patience. Have patience, okay? Patience. So anyway, that's a pretty nice chart. Um, Ross Stores is a short. I believe some people are in that. Uh, way to go. Congratulations. Uh, Home Depot. Check out Home Depot for a short. 200 period moving average is target area. Here we've crossed below the 50 period moving average. Trendicator has followed. The Trendicator... That's my, that, that's my main trend line for those that don't know. So right here, that's my main trend line. Below that's bearish, above that's bullish. There's no questions asked, period. Doesn't mean the chart's viable. It's just really simple. Um, bearish, bullish, simple. Then from here, I wanna look for um, the right chart pattern uh, setting up uh, for the short. And if we're above that, the dots will be green. I want to look for the right chart pattern moving up. Um, here's AMD. I know that some of us are in AMD. Look at that. Um, that's moving down pretty nice. See how we've started that downtrend? Red dots. See how we rally up to it? Possible entries up to it and then down, just a little bit down maybe, or right at that you know top area. So... What else do we have here? Anyone have any charts you want to peek at? I've got a couple minutes here. 
Sarah, I was a little late this morning. I slept in a tad. Uh, BX is one that uh, I kind of like. Uh, you can see us pulling back a little bit. I like the overall chart. So right now I'm waiting for that breakout on that. Kevin on DKS. DKS, DKS, there we go. DKS still looks short. That's one I am holding as well. Um, here's where we've got, we put in a little bit of a top here. Blink. A little bit of a top here. Here we've moved down. We the the bears now control this chart for my swing trade time frame. Okay, so we're underneath the red dots. That's bearish. Above is bullish. When it's green, it's bullish. So now I'm looking for more follow through, of course, to the downside, and that puts money in the pocket. The T line has not come across uh, the trend indicator yet. When that does. A little bit of price action down will bring the T-line down. And then we should get down close to that 50-period moving average for a nice little nickel in our pocket. Hope that made some sense and hope it helped you out. Um, RL, there's a nice short right there. Look at that. So we put in a top. And, you know, all this stuff is looking backwards. So right now I see this. So I look backwards to help. Um, what is it? Help um, define the overall chart pattern. So here's what we see. This is what catches our eye. Oh, look, a double top. Oh, look, a gap to the downside. These are all things that are unique to a bear. So now the price action has, has pulled the T-line below the trend indicator. Trend indicator still red. So now we're looking or fighting or arguing, negotiating, only with yourself, nobody else, only with yourself, an entry. That's it. Now, so this is, again, not where you're making your money. Where you're making your money is when it falls to the downside. So let's look for a possible target to the downside. How about landing on this price action? So we're looking for profits moving this way, right? Now, keep in mind that, you know, somewhere in here, you may very well have a rally to the upside before it continues down. That's a nice little, little short there. Thank you very much. Hey, Jim was looking to buy C-E-L-H, but on hold. Yeah, I would put that at but on hold. Absolutely. Um, in fact, for this one here, um, to be honest, let's see, this looks like a candidate to me, uh, for that 50% mark. So I'm going to do this. We're going to do that right there. And I'm also going to run this to the top over here, man. I'm going to have to go with that one. I really am. There you go. So to me, uh, C E L H is a buy above 8812 is what I would look at. Okay, folks, I'm out of time. I want to thank everybody for being here. Absolutely appreciate it. We'll see you all at the bottom of the hour. Get this market open and have a little fun today, hopefully. Maybe the market will be a little more uh, uh, active today, okay? We'll see everyone in about 30 minutes.